What's up guys, my name's Dichronic, your host on this Destiny tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to the, do the Urn of Sacrifice questline. Now, this is actually a very interesting questline with like six or seven different parts to it. It is a quest given by Eris, obviously from the Dark Below DLC. She gives you one task, starts with getting the Urn from the Xur, and then getting a certain thing, and then another thing, and then another thing, and you go back and forth, and back and forth, until you get to this last, very last at the very end, where you get these pretty epic raid gauntlets. So if you haven't gotten the raid gauntlets, or you're not using using the rune wings or any of that stuff. That's going to fulfill your raid stuff. So at the very end, you get that as well as a bunch of different items along the way, you know, uh, motes of light. I know the last mission gives you five motes of light, a bunch of experience, a whole bunch of things. Um, and it's kind of complicated and there are very, very easy ways of doing each part, which I'll be going over in this video. Let's shoot for 400 likes on this video. I know it seems high, but I know you guys can do it. You've been super duper supportive over these last few days with all the different likes and comments in the comments of the day. It's just been absolutely phenomenal. You guys have been so, so supportive. This video did take a lot long time to compile a bunch of different parts it definitely was a really long quest line and actually really really fun so without further ado the first thing you need to do is buy the urn from the Xur if you don't know where the Xur is I post a video on my channel every single Friday he basically spawns on Friday 1 a.m. and he despawns on Sunday 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and I'll be showing you his location on my video that I release every Friday so make sure you come back to my channel to see where he is once you get to the Xur you just buy it for one strange coin it will be the bottom right of his inventory all you have to do is buy that uh, urn and then head over to Eris she will then give you your first quest. This first quest tasks you of killing 50 thralls with a fire fusion rifle or a solar fusion rifle, which basically means the murmur on the solar damage type. However, this mission doesn't only require you to kill them, you have to actually collect the embers that drop, drop on the ground. So when you kill the thrall, their embers will actually fall on the ground as a pickupable item that goes into your special mission inventory. So where I recommend you doing this is in the mission called the Dark Below. Now it's going to be the mission where the thousands of thralls come out of the thing and you have to kill them and then there's that guy who says, we've woken the hive. Basically, what you're going to have to do is keep on killing these thralls and resetting your checkpoint by dying and keep on going back and forth. However, the thing does say death will uh, reset your progress or it will slow down your progress. What you have to do is actually something very specific is what you have to do is leave all this stuff on the ground. So what you want to do is stand back. In my video, I actually have the mission or objective already fulfilled. All you have to do really is stand back and wait for the guys to just pile up. So you just keep on killing the thrall, keep the items on, on the ground, and then once you get like at least around 50 of them then you can start picking them up and if you do fall short then you can just repeat the mission without dying um, and that's the general strategy for it once you've gotten all 50 return the urn back to Eris she will give you your second task now this requires you with melee killing five cursed thralls if you guys don't know the cursed thralls are the thralls that explode and I, I bet you're thinking how are we able to melee kill them and stay alive at the same time because the bounty actually says death will reset your progress which basically means if you die at any point while getting all this stuff you will not get the actual things and it will actually revert the urn will empty and then you won't actually get any credit so the key to this thing is actually going on the mission the world's grave what you're gonna do is put it on the first heroic difficulty now the reason this is because the thralls do not spawn on the normal difficulty they only spawn on the heroic and they will only be there if you have it on the hard difficulties obviously we want to put it on the lowest high level difficulty as we can so that we don't die if you melee hit a thrall in this area you will basically almost die with like one thread left so what you want to do is continue playing the game until you get to this part right here. What you want to do is just run down. There's going to be a bunch of thralls. Kill off all the main attack thralls, and then one by one, you're going to kill two of the thralls. You're just going to go up there, melee kill it. It's going to explode on you. You're going to get one point for the quest, and you're going to have to back up, wait for your shields to fully recharge, and I can't stress enough, fully recharge. Uh, I did die while doing this because I was an idiot, so you need to make sure you fully recharge your shield and then go back and kill that other thrall so you get two kills all you have to do is go to orbit come back down on the same difficulty you should still be at the checkpoint right before it, and of course do that two more times until you get five of them so once you completed that part obviously you turn into the urn and then you get your next part of the quest this part tasks you with using void damage to kill acolytes and wizards now i don't recommend you actually trying to kill wizards because it's pretty pointless considering they're way way diff more difficult to kill and harder to find what you want to do is actually head to the first loot farm in the Skywatch. If you don't know, I'm going to have it on screen. If you guys haven't seen this or done this yet, it's probably because you just got the game in Christmas or something. Uh, but yeah, just head straight to the main loot cave. That's the one that has a bunch of acolytes coming out of it. Uh, and of course, the thralls as well. All you have to do is just sit in front of that loot cave, use a sniper rifle, a, a heavy weapon, a primary. If you have any primaries with the actual void damage, you should have no problem. If you have a secondary, like I have this sniper rifle, again, you should have no problem. If you have a secondary with it, it's basically a go. Uh, 
uh, just for the fact that they do drop a lot of secondary ammo. So all you have to do is just sit here for the loot farm, kill them off with void damage. And again, it has to be void damage. Uh, otherwise, it will actually not work. And of course, you do die. It, it doesn't reset your progress, but it does bring it back. So all you have to do is sit back, keep killing these guys. What I did was I just shot them all until I ran out of sniper rifle ammo, which I had void damage on. Uh, of course, I also had a heavy with void damage, which was also very useful when I ran out of sniper rifle. I killed them all off. A bunch of stuff would gr drop on the ground, and then I'd go collect it and then get a bunch of ammo. And just keep on doing the process until you get the bounty done. Again, you have to use void damage. If you die, it, it doesn't reset your progress. It just slows it down. It brings it back like 10 or 12 or something I'm not too sure and then of course you have to use uh, um, all those weapons one thing I wanted to know is there's a guy in the area that spawns his name is Uraz the hated he has a sword he spawns in the area as a public event or the war that happens between the two factions this is actually part of a, a future part of this quest ignore him if you do see him try to avoid him because he does do a lot of damage has a lot of shields and it actually can royally fuck you up so I highly recommend avoiding him just because there's no reason to actually kill him at this point because you need him for the next part the reason why I say to avoid him is because death will slow down your progress however the next part of the quest requires you to go kill Uraz the hated now if you guys don't know that's actually what I was just talking about is the guy I told you to avoid you have to turn the urn back into Eris and then come back to the same location that I showed you if you want to know how to get there again you can just rewind the video a little bit and you can actually see that time lapse of getting there once you get here all you have to do really is just chill out and wait you're gonna be waiting for either a war or a public event and that's when Uraz spawns so just do the public event just wait there keep killing things do whatever you want all you have to do is wait for the public event or the thing that says like the the, the factions are fighting each other then you have to kill Orazia hated now I recommend bringing at least one other friend because his shield goes up so so fast like those public events where his shield goes up really really fast uh, you definitely need a friend if you have some gala horns this thing this guy will go down really fast use some arc damage take down his shield and then destroy him with the gala horn once you've killed him then you can move on to the next step and this is actually the hardest part uh, a lot of people say it's kind of easy but this is I find to be the hardest part you have to have a nice group of people uh, I think uh, at least two people of 30s of some kind just so that you can actually have some people bouncing around his shield because his shield does go up really really fast of course you need arc for his shield and then of course any damage will do for the other ones and a Galahorn is just my weapon of choice because it's so awesome once you've killed Uraz then you want to go back to Eris up in orbit again go get her quest she's gonna give you one last quest before the end and she's gonna have you go do this mission called the ritual of sacrifice once you've gotten the quest from her on the moon there will be another mission it'll be glowing purple what you want to do is start that mission if you do it on the higher difficulty you get five modes of light so I definitely recommend doing it on that especially for the fact that you actually killed Uraz you probably are already level 30 or something so um, I highly recommend being on the higher difficulty because you do get those modes of lights and it's actually a really important to you of course once you've actually gotten that quest obviously start the mission on the any difficulty either one doesn't matter just do the mission go through the game and you're basically done I'm gonna be doing a little bit more in depth here just to show you guys what exactly the mission entails and my recommendation so in general I just recommend running past everything like I do in most of my <laughs> most of my strikes run past as many things as possible until you get to that room where the shard of the traveler was I don't know if you guys remember that's where like the big uh, glowing dark shard of the traveler I don't I didn't pay attention to the story but you're gonna get to that room that room is gonna be the only thing that's changed in this entire thing there will be level 30 enemies along the way but uh, uh, from that point on that's where the new thing is gonna happen at this uh, urn everybody in the uh, party has to gather up on top of the urn and then three swords will spawn next to the urn this is actually pretty fun and a cool part and I really liked it and I wish I could play it again just because I think it really should be a mission in the game of course each one of your people can grab a sword once your sword actually runs out it will automatically respawn next to the urn so you can automatically go back there and grab it again I do recommend it until the uh, ogre spawns um, that, at which point I recommend dropping the a sword you can drop it with Y or whatever weapon you use the whatever button you use to switch weapons and actually go and kill that guy so what I recommend some bunch of things here the cursed thralls the best way to deal with them with the sword lunge towards them and lunge away from them they'll blow up and they'll be no problem at all I was juking a lot of them throughout the game and I was kind of yelling up to my friends being like oh I juked him anyways uh, that's pretty much it though you just keep fighting until you see that ogre like I said then drop your shields shoot him from a distance and once you kill that ogre and uh, everything else it will be over and the mission will be over You'll uh, be finished with the last part. Then you have to go to the Xur as a final thing. Uh, switch out the uh, urn for an eyeball and bring it back to Eris. And she will give you your reward of the armor that you get. Again, the reward that you get is actually a shoulder piece from the raid. If you guys don't have that yet, you can equip it. And it is going to be the best high, 
highest level quality stuff that you can get. So today's comment of the day goes to Chrome Crew and his comment says, what happens when a male camel sees a female camel on Wednesday? And pretty much everybody knows that guy com Geico commercial with the camel and it's hump day. And that's the reason why I loved it. I read that out when a caboose was there and we both laughed really hard. I really <laughs> like this comment. Uh, it probably was from, from some copy and paste, but it definitely did make me laugh. Uh, anyways, if you guys wanted to leave a comment for comment of the day to be featured in one of my videos, make sure you leave a comment down below with hashtag comment of the day in it. Makes it easier for me to find as well as I know that fact that you want it in the comment of the day. And uh, yeah, if you, if you guys want to post funny, inspirational, respectful, any of that type, and I'll be making sure to uh, post my favorite ones on the videos. But anyways, again, that's been the entire video. I I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. And I've been your host, Ichronic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.